Here's what we're buzzing about at Newsbeast. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly's son, Greg, accused of rape in New York. Is this a real story or a campaign, potential campaign brush back in advance of the 2013 mayoral race? But first, we got a world of news going on, including a fight in Florida. The great Michael Daly is with us. How you doing, sir? What All you right, got? So I'm interested in this Apple story. I mean, you, you read every day of uh, young Marines and SEALs and soldiers making the ultimate sacrifice for their country for pittance wages, and you wonder why can't Apple do its part for the country and start manufacturing the stuff here? I mean, they made, what, like seven, eight billion dollars? Last quarter. In one quarter? I mean, why can't they make four billion and do their part for the country? I hear you. I think that could be what's next. Let's see it. Well, Rebecca. certainly after these New York Times stories, there's going to be tremendous pressure on them to do something different. Um, I agree. My cheat today is about this argument that, that Arizona Governor Jim Brewer and, and President Barack Obama had, uh, yeah, yeah. apparently on a tarmac. Um, I, I hope we can flash the picture up here because I just think it's outrageous. Uh, the, the, the argument supposedly was about the substance of her book, an anecdote that she recounted in a book that she published. But there's this incredible picture of Brewer, who is not my favorite person in the world and certainly <laughs> has some, some strong opinions about racial minorities and immigration and the like, but she, in this photo, is is has her finger up in the president's face, which I just think is the most outrageous thing. Like, you can disagree about whatever you want, but get your finger out of the president's face. Damn right. It's lack of respect for the spoken. office and the president has got to stop. Um, somewhat in that vein, Oklahoma Republican State Legislature has a funny little lineage. They were passing laws against Sharia, sort of anticipatory uh, saying that Sharia law was unconstitutional. Another anticipatory law now being pushed in Oklahoma by State Senator Ralph Shorty uh, would ban the use of fetuses in food. Now... Gosh, I make the nicest fetus cupcake. <laughs> this, would really, this would really make your parties different. I understand that. Here, here's the point. This isn't happening, folks. This is another example of what we started to see in the past couple of years, this anticipatory legislation, which is just fear-mongering. Mm -hmm. We saw it in Virginia saying that, you know, the company shouldn't be allowed to put, you know, uh, computer chips in people's brains for fear of fulfilling biblical prophecies. We saw it in Oklahoma earlier, and now this. This is just fear-mongering, uh, and, and it's just ridiculous, and it's got to stop, but it's got to be called out first. Let's talk about Greg Kelly. This blowing up this morning. Wild story. Uh, he's a local New York City news anchor, well-known figure, his father the police commissioner. And here's the broad outlines of the story as we know it. There seems to be a liaison in October. Um, met a young woman for drinks, went back to her law office. Uh, they continued to talk or converse after um, the it, incident. And the incident took place allegedly at the law office. In her, in her office. Mm -hmm. uh, and now do the math, four months later, she's coming forward uh, uh, alleging rape, right at the same time that some people are saying Ray Kelly's thinking about a possible mayoral yeah, well, rape in 2013. Do with that, um, and, and, and importantly also, her boyfriend um, Not an incidental point. Yeah. came up to Ray Kelly and had words with him and, and made some threats, I yeah. think, and, and this, this, um, these allegations are a consequence of that. So, Rebecca, I, you know, everyone rightly should always give a, a, an alleged rape victim the benefit of the doubt of from course. the get-go. Yeah. But well, we, I mean, I think, think? In, in New York City especially, we, we wince at these things now, and, and it's a terrible thing, but because of the way the Dominique, Dominique Strauss-Kahn case was handled. So it, the, the, the terrible outcome of, of mismanagement and bungling like that is that now in these cases where uh, you can uh, argue about whether this has a political motivation, but I think instinctively everybody sort of gets their shoulders up a little bit and thinks, what are the motivations here? So also, it's tough. I mean, I... I heard about this yesterday, and I should probably turn in my reporter's card because I was pretty gingerly about checking it out because if you make a phone call to ask about it, yeah. you're spreading it. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, in, in, I mean, this kid, you know, I call him a kid because he's the commissioner's son, but I mean, you know, you'd think that it's, he's also boy, all the advantages of the there. world. I mean, you're the son of the police commissioner, you're a marine pilot, you're a yeah. TV star, there are ads in the subway, which the boyfriend probably saw every morning. Right. Um, you think that's all to your advantage, but you know, you get this, and all of a sudden, I mean, if he was just a regular guy and the woman made the complaint at the DA's office, they would look at it and make a determination, and no one would ever know about it. But now right. the whole city's going, oh, Greg Kelly. John, what, what? it sounds like you've got a little bit of a conspiracy theory going No, here. no, no, no. I mean, look, I, I think, you know, tr we've got a tradition in New York when people are thinking to run for higher office, occasionally they get brush packed pitches through the media mm -hmm. to say, hey, this is going to be painful if, if you do actually go ahead with this race. I don't know that this is in any way, shape, or form connected to this. I think likely it's, you know, the Well, the I mean, boyfriend. the one thing for his, in his favor is because the DSK, I mean, the, mm -hmm. 
with DSK, the DA's office ignored, the, ignored their own head of the sex crime unit and went ahead to the grand jury without giving her a time to really talk to the victim. Yeah. I mean, in this case, they're going to move slow and cautious. Right. There's going to be no more rushing in sex cases. No, that, that, that's right, and that's as it should be because these are people's lives and reputations Absolutely. at stake. Got final word, Michael. What you got? Uh, caution. I <laughs> Rape. I don't know. Like, really? We're just, we're well, going. If you go right from a rape case, it's hard to think of other words outside that Seriously. rape case. So like, you're not going to go. I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be silly about rape. How about um, Kelly? Kelly. Kelly right. gang. I don't know. Brush back. That's all for us uh, at News Beast. See, we'll the see unfair tomorrow. thing is that you prepare. You come in here <laughs> with a word. In your